Hey YouTube, welcome to TCTN, the crazy troll nation of YouTube. Crazy because sometimes I'm delirious, I babble, I say things that don't make sense. Sometimes I'll start a sentence and forget what I was talking about. And when I do realize I do those things, I'll say, welcome to the crazy. So that's just letting you know that I know that I'm a tad bit off or a lot bit off. <laughs> troll because I consider myself a troll. As you can see today, I have absolutely nothing on my face. When I put paint on it, I think I'm a cute troll, but still a troll nonetheless. Um, I do videos about various things. I have them all on one channel because it's just easier for me. I'm a simple person. Um, I will label my videos accordingly so you can watch what you want to and not watch what you do not want to watch. If all of that sounds great to you and if you enjoy this video, feel free to subscribe and like the video and click the notification bell for when I upload new videos. Um, today I didn't do anything on my face because I'm going to go through all of my brushes and I'm going to do that... <laughs> Because I might be giving some of them away. And as I was pulling all, pulling out all of the different containers and things where my brushes are, I'm like, I really could just declutter some of these brushes because I don't use them all. We're going to jump right into it and I'm going to tell you where things are. Um, well, I'm going to show you where things are as I pull them out. This is a travel case. It's a coach bag. And that's the only reason I'm still kind of holding on to it. It's very beat up. I'm going to try not to babble because this video is already going to be long. And I do keep brushes in here. Before I had a lot, a lot, a lot of makeup. <laughs> this was able to contain like just my base face and my eyeshadow and my brushes. And so I do just keep extra brushes in here now and cases to brushes like this one. So if I do travel, I can put the brush in here. So of course, there's another brush to this. I'll show you later. But right now, we're just going over what's in here. This is the Sephora. I don't have my contacts in so that I can read up close without my reading glasses. This is the Pro Domed Foundation Brush number 78. And I do like that it comes with the hard plastic case because you can keep it to travel with it. This brush was on clearance for $18. That's what the red sticker is. And I think it normally was going for like $36 or something. And so it was on sale, which is why I went back and purchased another one. And I will show you that, the opened one, when we get to where that is. I also have two of the Sephora Concealer Contour Highlight Brush. It's actually called Pro Contour Highlight. And it's their number 80. The same concept with keeping the lids. And I do have one over there that's open. I believe they were on sale, which is why I purchased extra because I really liked it a lot. And what else is in here? Empty containers for brushes. This brush I used to use all the time. This is the Equal Tools um, Kabuki brush. And it is so soft. And this I would use. I am sweating. I do have... Um, my under eye gel and my moisturizer one, and I'm already sweating. Um, very soft brush and I really like it because you could just put powder in it or dip it in your powder, close it up, put the lid on it and take it with you. So if you wanted to do touch ups, you already had your powder and you can dust it. I used to use it for um, bronzer and blush very lightly though because it's dense and so it's very easy to overdo it with um a blush with this brush but that is what i used to use it for i haven't used it in i don't even remember last time i used it this is a real techniques brush and again the same concept this one is slanted oh the bristles are looking kind of crazy and i'm i'm a label fiend so i don't forget what things are for this is the retractable kabuki brush and i put a label on here liquid cream or powder so you can use this brush for anything and I did use this for you know powder dusting on or um, for a contour or for my blush that's what I used to use it for and I really do and so that's everything that's in this bag and so I'm going to put everything back and move on to the next thing so I really could I haven't used these in so long I could get rid of them I just have, I forgot I had like this many brushes in so many different places. So we want to sit that there. This used to be in here when I did travel with it with makeup in it. This is a Sephora brush set. Um, I don't know if it was the charcoal, no it was not the charcoal one. And this is what it looks like. It was a nice travel set. Except I never, I took out the, the eyebrow brush because I never used it. They have an eyeliner. Let me fold this back this is a flat eyeliner brush and I very carefully put I haven't used this in oh gosh I, 
The other brush in here is a concealer brush, which I, I don't think I ever really even used it for concealer. This is an eyeshadow brush. And all of these brushes are clean, which is another reason I didn't do my makeup today because I wanted to show you guys all of my brushes. This is an angled brush. The thing I didn't like about this one is even though I washed it, it still has like a tint of whatever eyeshadow I use. But this was great for um, placing a crease color and blending it out at the same time because it covers a wide area, which I have a lot of area, even though most of it is part of my hooded eyelid. This is a foundation brush, which I'm not a fan of, but I'm starting to like brushes like these to spread my eye primer because I don't like getting my hands messy. And so I don't think I ever really use that one for foundation. And then the last one in here is a powder brush. And so this is what that looks like. And I have used this for powder all over and for blush, bronze, or everything if I'm just being extremely simple and using one brush for all of my powder products. And so that's what is in here. I had this in my closet, and I'll show you the brushes in here. This is a Sephora number 82 Kabuki brush. I saw, I'll get to it later. I saw a brush look, that looked exactly like this. Um, I think it was at TJ Maxx. And for your bronzer or your blush it just fits like right there and I was like oh my gosh I like this brush so I saw this and I believe it was on sale because I have a hard time buying brushes for price but depends on how my wallet is doing <laughs> this I cannot remember the last time I used it the elf face kabuki brush is what it says on here and I used to love these brushes I probably had this over 10 years um, I remember when I lived in Dover I used to use this so much so that I purchased the second one. But I love this for powder, for pre for stippling on powder, stippling on powder, and then buffing it in or just for blush or for contour. And this was, I forget what these are called. Um, I'm not even going to lie to you. I forget what it's called. But you put your brush in it and it protects your bristles, but you have to make sure you only come from the bottom up or else your bristles the bristles of the brush will poke through. So I, that's been in here for like forever. And I have two more of these. One I put a label on that says blush and the other one I have a label on it that says bronzer. And so I would use one for blush. And I would use the other one for bronzer. I haven't used these in a very long time. I used to travel with these. So that's it for that one. Moving right along here. Where was this thing at? Moving right along, oh my gosh, there's like, oh, that wasn't in there. That was over here. All right, I started using um, sponges, and I started out using a Real Techniques sponge because they're very inexpensive um, at Ulta, and if they're having, oh, I just dropped it. Sorry for shaking the table. Where did it go? I'm using my monkey toes. All right, excuse me, I'm going to get my sponges. <laughs> So, this is what the Real Technique sponge looks like. Look, looks like a typical sponge. And I think they were like, I want to say $4.99, $5.99 or something like that. The first one I purchased, I purchased in the case. And I have since threw the case away. They had these on sale. Um, uh, I'm going to say Sephora, excuse me. <laughs> Welcome to the crazy, right? And they had a four pack on sale. And it was less than 20 bucks for the four sponges and so I put them in a Talenti's container. I did wash them when I received them. So these live in here. So we can set that aside. Move these other ones a little bit closer. Um, this, I don't know what brush this, what sponge this is. <laughs> but it has two flat sides and it has this a little flat here at the top. And that came, I believe, in this container. It was on sale. The reason I, pr I purchase more sponges is because once they get really dirty or once they stop looking clean once you once I clean them because I do wash them within 24 hours of using them I know there's going to come a point where they're not going to look clean even when they are and I'm not going to want to keep using them because I'll be like oh that looks gross so that's why I purchased so many of them this case <clears throat> I believe was eight dollars on sale <laughs> for Sephora and so when they were on sale again now, what they were, I think they were $8, and then they went on sale for 50% off, so they were $4, and so I purchased another one. I never clip it on anything, 
but you totally could. But I'm like, why do you want to? Like, who wants to see these? But anyway, really cute. So another real techniques brush, and, and it does say RT on the side. So I put that in here. This one, I don't even remember what brush this is. I like this one because when I'm doing under my eyes for my concealer, it fits like perfectly, like right under my eyes. And I can get, I am sweating, I can get along under my nose. Um, the, the bottom, I'll use the stipple foundation. And so usually I'm just holding around here and not really using this part. But I use this side, this, and the bottom. So that lives in here with this one. And I like that you can fit two sponges in each case. This case, I have another one of these. And I forget what I'm sure this was. I don't even know where I got this one from. I don't know if it was Sephora or somewhere else. I'm kind of indifferent about this one. Um, it doesn't really help me get into the corner. So I'm not really sure what that purpose is or maybe for your nose. But anyway, but I have used this one. Uh, but I kind of prefer this one and the Real Techniques one. So if you're looking for brushes and you don't want to spend $20 for one beauty blender, Wait So Ulta has a sale on the Real Technique, Real Techniques sponges. And just get a bunch of those. Oh, gosh, excuse me. All right, this these were just loose brushes <laughs> that were near where I keep my makeup. This says Makeup Forever Professional Paris, and inside of here is a Makeup Forever Kabuki brush, which I have not used in forever, and I used this the same way I used, um, mm, the e.l.f. Kabuki brush. Very similar, look at that, right? Mm-hmm, 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 mm-hmm. Very, very similar. And they work just the same. To me, they feel exactly the same. Haven't used it in forever, but that lives in its case, which is nice. It has a case, but if you use it and put it in here, then the inside gets really nasty and gross, like the way I'm sweating right now. All right, so we're going to sit that there. Another loose brush I had, this one I think I got it from TJ Maxx or somewhere. Um, it says Lindo Contour Kabuki. And this is what led me to buy the other one, because I'm like, I love the shape of it but I just don't use it. Another loose brush I have, this one says Urban Decay Stay Gold. So I'm guessing it was in like a little palette somewhere. It's a double-ended brush, has a flat, small shader side and a crease side. I don't think a crease side, maybe a detailed crease or to do like your outer V area or to line underneath your lash line or to do your inner corner. Rarely use it. This is a double-ended Naked Heat, it says on here. So I'm guessing it was in the Naked Heat palette. Did I have the Naked Heat palette? I don't even remember. But that's what it says on here, and I know you can't see it. So it has the <laughs> crease side and the flat shader side. Another brush I have here that's loose, that's out because it's double-ended. My Hourglass um, brush that I purchased when I purchased the Hourglass setting powder. This side I, I like for doing under my eyes. I use this, but not that often, but I do really like it though. And then this side, I'll just um, set powder all over my face. All right, so we're gonna set this uh, aside. Where are we? Ooh, almost 15 minutes. Okay, these, <laughs> my travel makeup case for myself. I am not a professional makeup artist. I am not aspiring to be, but the brushes that I keep in here are, this is a Sephora Pro Full Coverage Airbrush 53XL, and it's for um, powder, cream, or liquid products, and also face or body. So, but for face, it's too big, so I kind of regret buying it. Excuse me, I am just so like, oof. This would, I, I, like, I, I would use this to just like go over my entire face after I do my makeup, but I can see someone really enjoying this for like body stuff because this thing, look how huge this is. It's like almost this, this <laughs> the side, the width of the palm of my hand. <laughs> this brush is huge. And so I hardly ever use it, but I keep this in here like just in case. Another brush I keep in my travel case is number 50.5 Mini Flawless Light Powder Brush. And I do enjoy this for loose powder. And so this I do actually 
use when I travel, when I do my makeup when I'm traveling and just set powder all over. And I love, as I mentioned probably like four times already, that you can travel with, with it in the cases and it keeps them clean and doesn't get powder everywhere. I have two of these, so I'm only going to open one. This is the number 50. Again, a Sephora brush. Um, Pro Full Coverage Airbrush, and this is their mini. This I use for foundation when I travel. And the reason I purchased the second one was because it takes sometimes over a day to dry. And so if I do my foundation with this one day, the next morning or next afternoon, it's not dry. So I'm like, oh, I'll have another one just for when I need it. And so this, you know, I stipple my foundation on and then I go through and buff it in. Really enjoy this brush. Really, really, really enjoy this brush. The other brushes that are in here. <laughs> I have this case in here. This is a Makeup Forever case. And the only thing that actually came in here when I purchased it from Sephora was the Makeup Forever um, blush and contour or blush and powder. I mean, you can use whatever side you want for whatever, but this side I would use for powder and this side I would use for blush and for contour. So that came with the case. It has a snap closure. And so what else I keep in here is, the other brushes I keep in here are brushes that I like, but I really don't care if they start to fall apart, except for the Pro Airbrush Detail number 57 Sephora brush. And this is the other two that I have in here. Because I really do like this one. I like it for concealer. I like it for spreading out my eye primer. And so I keep that in here. <clears throat> this is a Sephora double-ended brush. It says large shadow brush on this side. And this side says precision shadow brush. And it's number 206. So that stays in here. <clears throat> This is uh, Urban Decay Naked Brush, a, shade, a flat shader side and a smaller shader side. Like, I don't really know what this side is for. It feels like it would be for concealer because it's very stiff. Um, this side feels nice. The fluffy side feels nice. So that lives in here. A Jabinus, mm, what does it say on here? Packing brush. It says packing on here. So this is for packing eyeshadow. It's in here because it's so small. And even though it looks like I have a lot of space, this my lid is only this big. Because then this up here is just like overhang because I have slightly hooded eyes. And so it takes me a while when I do eyeshadow with this because I always take my lid color up into the crease. And so that stays in here because I'm kind of indifferent about it. This one is a Mali brush. I don't know what I purchased that this was in. This is a shader side and this is a detailed side. And so I will use this for packing on eyeshadow and sometimes my crease color too because it does go where I want it to go and for blending out a little bit. So that lives in here. So I'm, I'm kind of indifferent about that one. This one I'm kind of indifferent about as well. I don't know if this came in a set. This is another Jabinus, um brush and it says detail. I don't know if I've ever used this one. I think I may have tried it for like my outer corner or my inner corner. I think I may have tried it like getting shadow underneath my lower lash line. You can also use it to, you know, do your brow bone highlight. I don't think I've ever used it. Another Jabinus brush. Why do I got three of them? They had to have came in a set. This one is a crease brush and I have used it. And it does do what it's supposed to do, but again, it just seems so small compared to other brushes. But then it is a mini size brush, and so, you know, you if it's mini, you get mini. This one is a Sephora 55.5 brush. It says Pro Mini Airbrush. And this one I do like to use for powder. I'll set under my eyes, and then I'll dust it off and dust over my face. Because it is a mini, it will take me longer to use it because I have a puffy face. And it came with this sleeve, and so I just keep that in here. And th that these are the brushes that are in my travel makeup kit. Sorry for shaking the table. All right, we're down to the nitty gritty. These are my everyday brushes. <laughs> these are mostly eye brushes. These are mostly face powder, concealer, blush, foundation brushes. And so... <laughs> 
I think we're going to do this one first. I think I have nine minutes left. This one is a, uh, <laughs> it's some I use more than others. And so I really do, I really can declutter and not miss any of these brushes. But I, I just look at them and I'm like, I love them all. This is a number 50 Sephora brush, Pro Flawless Light Powder. And I do use this powder under my eyes, brush it away, brush all over. If I'm just having a simple day, I'll also use it for my bronzer, use it for my blush, contour, and then just go over, go over everything lightly again. That's what I use that brush for. This one I purchased recently, I don't know if it was on sale or not. This is also a Sephora brush. It says Demi Fan number 72. And I was looking at it like, this will go exactly where I want it to go. And it is, all of the Sephora Pro brushes to me are like very soft and I really love them. This is a new, the newest one that I purchased. This is um, the sister to, I think it was one in here that I showed you because it was on sale so I went back and bought another one. <laughs> the number 78 Pro Domed Foundation Brush. I like this for, you know, doing my concealer, stippling, my foundation, and then if I need to buff out around the edges, then I do that too. I love this brush. Haven't been using it much lately. <laughs> I've been using more of the Kabuki type brushes lately. This is a Jabinesque brush and I put a, and it says apply, well, I put a label on it that says apply, build and buff. This is a foundation brush and this is what I'm talking about. This brush is clean and I cannot get this stain out. And that's what I was saying about the sponges, like after a while, I, mm. but anyway, so I do like, you know, stipple on, like concealer, buff that out, foundation, da 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 da. Another brush similar to that is the Real Techniques. I think Real Techniques brushes, more so the Instapop ones, I really like. their sets of brushes. I tried them. They were prickly. I ended up throwing them, throwing them away, but they're single brushes I really like. This one is an Expert Face Brush, and I put a label on here, buff with creams or liquids. And I use this the same way as the Javanesque one for my foundation. This is a Sephora number 47 Pro Foundation Brush. I like this one just for concealer because for my face, it just takes like way too long. And if I do one of these, it leaves streaks. So I have to stipple it and it just takes up a lot of space. This one is another of the number 80 Pro Contour Highlight that I use for my concealer. Or I use it to spread out my eye eyeshadow primer. This one is a Luxie small contouring brush and it says for um, contour or blush, but like this is kind of small for me and so I think I will get rid of that one because I rarely ever, ever use it. This is, I've had this probably like 15 years. This is a Sephora brush number 49. Back when they had the silver handles, it had to been over 15 years. I used to love, love, love this brush, but because it's small and my face is chubby, <laughs> I was never able to do found, do blush this way I always would have to like pat it on first and then go through and blend it and so I haven't used that one in a long time either this is how do I have all these Japanese brushes head that came in a set this one is a contour brush I, I don't I think I might have used it once real techniques brush I love the slanted ones this one is instapop cheek brush I actually like this one for setting powder under my eyes because sometimes when you use a powder puff, you you press it and powder's like poof. This one, it goes like right there. And then I'll take another brush or this one and just lightly sweep it. But you can use it for blush color. If it's a very saturated blush color, you put that there, that color's not going anywhere. So I tend to prefer it for setting under my eyes versus as a blush brush. And my time is running out. This is a Real Techniques brush it says instapop face brush it says for setting or baking i use this to stipple powder all over my face and i love it because it's slanted i think i'm gonna have to do my eye brushes later because i'm running out of time with these this is a old one sephora <laughs> number 50 it says powder brush powder blush contour that's what i use that one for I haven't used it in a long time real techniques powder um brush this I use to go over everything or just lightly setting everything <laughs> I had another one of these okay another um, uh, blush brush I got like four minutes left and I'm rushing I didn't even see this one that goes in there 
Real Techniques. Is this another powder brush? Why do I have two of these powder brushes? I didn't realize I had two of them. Okay. And two Fenty brushes. Um, these I purchased maybe like two or three months ago. The bronzer brush, um, $195. And this is the setting brush 170. This one I use just to yeah you know, to set all over. I have used this one for bronzer, but because it seems to be so small and I have like more than a forehead up here, <laughs> I tend to just use it for um, contour. I'll do the eyeshadow brushes another day. I'm so sorry, guys, because I had like. I don't even know, sorry for all the noise, how many there are. So thank you guys for watching and for enduring this long video. <laughs> and you will see me in the next video. Let me know what your favorite brushes are. If you do a video um, of what your brushes are or your brush collection, feel free to send me the link and, and I'll watch that video. And thanks again for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. See you later. You will see me later. Bye.